Now, often, uh, the Greens will come up with ideas that your immediate reaction is, you're kidding me, no chance, never going to happen, seriously. But I want you to remember this. Four years ago, if I had told you that every single state and almost uh, soon-to-come territories in the country were going to legalise the right to die, euthanasia, you would have said, oh, no chance, everyone's going to blow up. That, well, guess what? Start of Victoria went the whole way around the country and that's now the law of the land. So now the suggestion is that voting should be dropped down to people who are 16. This looks like it might be about to happen in New Zealand, and why wouldn't the former youth socialist, who now Prime Minister, want younger people to be voting? Well, here's what she said. Cabinet has resolved to draft a piece of legislation with a proposal to lower the age of voting for 16 for the whole of Parliament to consider. Which, of course, she has a majority in, so if the government wants to do it, they'll be doing it. It'll be maybe a way of saving her own backside. As for what's about to happen here, here's one of our federal government ministers who, of course, needs the Greens to get anything done in the upper house. I am very relaxed about the discussion because we are a democracy and uh, it's everyone's right, whether they are of voting age or not, to advocate for various ideas. And if the 16 and 17 year olds of Australia want to get together and put the case, uh, good on them. But what I find fascinating about this suggestion is actually the split within the Greens political party. We had Jordan Steele John out there uh, a few years ago saying that it should be voluntary voting for 16 and 17 year olds. We've now got the new member for Brisbane, uh, another Greens party uh, activist, who's uh, suggesting that it should be compulsory for 16 and 17 year olds. Nothing better than the fake fight between Labor and the Greens. But uh, Mission Australia, they put out a youth survey that showed what 16 and 17 year olds particularly care about. And surprise, surprise, what their number one issue is, the environment. Number two is equality and discrimination. Number three, issues to do with mental health. So, Nicholas, my view's always been that maybe a 16 or 17 year old might be allowed to vote, but I think they should be... Um, working first, so therefore it's about where their taxes go. I also don't think mm -hmm. compulsory voting should be in until, say, 21. So you're not forcing people who don't care. You're only getting people that are interested in the position um, to actually be in the system. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about compulsory voting from 16 to 18 and 18 and beyond. The Greens want this because that's going to mean more Senate seats and more power for them. It's not about enfranchising teenagers. It's about more bums on seats for them, right? <laughs> Well, there's a couple of points there, quite a few of which I agree with, actually, Paul. So, um, would it be electorally advantageous to the Greens? Yes, it would. That um, Australian Electoral Survey that you referenced in your intro this evening, one of the key findings out of that was that young voters are moving very significantly to the left. And that's not just the age-old phenomena of younger voters tending to be more progressive than conservative voters. That is actually, when you compare it to previous surveys, people of those younger ages are more to the left than they've been in the past. So there's something definitely going on there which would advent, uh, be advantage to the Greens. Uh, in terms of the actual details of this proposal, yes, I think there's still something to be worked through there. So I agree with your point. Maybe it shouldn't be compulsory from 16, but the idea of giving people who are 16 the option to vote, oh, I can see a lot of merit in that. I mean, they are, uh, they, they're young enough to pay, or they're old enough to pay taxes. A lot of states, they can drive a car, they can fly a plane, they can make medical decisions. Uh, why shouldn't they be able to have the right to vote as well? I mean, this is a debate that's going on in a lot of countries at the moment, not just uh, uh, New Zealand, but Austria's already done this, Brazil's already done this, the UK's debating it as well. So there's a bit of a trend here. Yeah, and in part that's because uh, the left, uh, through the media, know that they're going to get more of their agenda done, uh, getting voters in nice and early, which is what I talk about here, Pauline. Again, my point is is that I don't want to... I'm not particularly excited by the idea of hundreds of thousands of new lefty voters, but I also don't believe in uh, holding back the franchise from people who pay tax. And if you're a 16-year-old and you're paying tax, well, then you should be able to vote only because you can then determine how it's spent. Am I off in cuckoo land? Um, Paul, I don't even agree with that. You know, Nicholas said, oh, they're old enough to drive. No, they're on P plates. You know why? Because they don't even know how to handle a car properly. We don't trust them enough to give them an open licence, so they're on P platers. And exactly, when you're actually 16, you're still under the roof of your parents. Most of these kids are still going to school. A lot of kids at 18, 19, 20 still ask their parents when they go to vote for the first time, who should they be voting for? This is a minute. This is a manipulation by the Greens to actually get more of those progressives. Yes, they come out of the educational system because they've been brainwashed, because they're not taught critical thinking. They're taught one way to think, and that's 
the left's way of thinking in school. They need to come out, get a job, understand what life is all about, start working, put your roof over your own head instead of depending on your parents, and then make an informed, well-informed decision when it comes to vote. And it's nothing too, Paul. If you're actually 16, you think they're old enough to actually vote, well, then maybe they should be old enough, they commit a crime, to end <laughs> up in, in the um, adult prisons I'm and a, not I'm in detention centres for juveniles. Great point, so let's, great let's point, Nicholas. I mean, let's put them in the Hang prisons. on a second, hang on a second. I mean, I mean, Pauline is being positively cruel uh, to the young people of Australia, suggesting they have to ha be oh, able to well, afford to put a roof no, over their head before they can vote. I mean, we all know that what the baby boomers have done for housing affordability in this country. Young people yeah. can't afford to buy a house uh, for themselves because of housing inflation built, uh, built you're a on Gen the back Xer. of cashed Don't pretend up you're baby a millennial. boomers pricing them out of the market. And now you have the temerity to come along and say you want to change the voting law so they can't vote till they can afford to put a no, roof over there. No, I mean, what she's perverse. saying is... The the crime, crime, but hang on, Paul, according right? to lefties, 14-year-old... <laughs> uh, uh, criminal responsibility doesn't kick into 14. Um, full adult rights should be given to you at 16. But if you commit a crime when you're 16, you should still be treated like a young person and go into juvie. That's the point you just made, Nick. They, they can't even, they can't even um, get drink alcohol at 16 years of age. They can't smoke at 16 years of age. But you want to give them the right to vote when they don't understand how the system well. works? We send the kids to, le to look at Canberra at when they're in grades 5 and 6. <laughs> we don't teach them about politics after that. But you expect them to be able to go and vote. And then I'll tell you what, the Greens want to tie up the vote, but also the Labor Party will because they go into the Aboriginal communities and they get all the young ones on, on board again. Again, so they're tying up the Aboriginal vote as well. It happens all the time. And I'm totally, totally against it. I make a wild prediction. Watch well, for this to start fathers, to happen here. The founding and people will turn around and say, New Zealand's doing a new... Remember, like, same-sex marriage? Well, New Zealand also has a 15% GST. Are we allowed to invoke that as a thing we should do in Australia? Oh, no, of course not. Only the progressive ideas that happen here 